Kimberly Bear here and happy Halloween! So, in today's video I have a box sent to me by Emily, aka Pixie Cake, who's on YouTube, so if you want to look her up I'm going to leave her channel in the description below. So, what she's done here, and I've sent her one as well, she's already done the video on the box that I sent her, we are just basically sending Halloween type things, like... I don't know what she's got in here. This is like a mystery box for me. So I thought I would unbox it together with you. And yeah, so she's done one too. There's a box I sent her. And she's done it onto her channel and videoed it. So if you want to see that, go check that out on her channel. Anyway, so I'm going to get into this box. I have no clue what's in it. So we're going to have a look. Okay, so on the top, I can't, I can't, on the top it says read me, but I'm ripping the paper, bear with me a moment. Okay, I got read me. She says, I know what you like, wait, okay, clues, number one. I know what you're like with beauty products, so here's one for you to try. Two, some kisses coming your way from me. Three, baby it's cold outside. Four, time to get arty. Five, mum says I'm a nightmare before Christmas. Six, do you want to carve a pumpkin? Seven, some, something for them creepy movies. Clues are on the other sheet. I hope you have a spooky Halloween and love everything I put in the box for you. Thank you for the box you sent me. I loved it. Lots of love, Pixie. I'm not, I don't really understand this clue thing. Am I supposed to guess what's in each present? Maybe the, hang on. Does she wrap these up? I need to look inside now and see. Oh, she's done the same. Wait a minute. I think she's used the shredded paper that I put in for her box. Because she sent her box after I'd already sent mine to her. Oh, great stuff. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So these have got numbers on them. Uh, okay, on the top's number five, so I might as well just... Number five says, Mum says I'm a nightmare before Christmas. That feels kind of like a book. And I do love the Nightmare Before Christmas, the DVD, the film. So maybe it's something to do with that. Obviously, you are a subscriber on my channel, you'll know that I like to do piano covers. And she's actually got me the Nightmare Before Christmas piano book, like the sheet music. That's awesome. At the back, it's got the names of what songs are on here. So we've got This Is Halloween, Jack's Lament. I don't know if I've said that right. What's This? I like that one. Town Meeting Song. Jack's Obsession, Kidnap the Sandy Claws, Making Christmas, Oogie Boogie Song, Sally Song, Poor Jack, and the Finale Reprise. That is awesome. Thank you. Oh, I was not expecting that. Wow. Right, the next thing looks kind of around. This says number six on it, so... On the paper, it says, do you want to carve a pumpkin? I'm going to take a guess, and obviously it's something to do with a pumpkin. It kind of feels like it's, it's in a ball shape. So I'm going to take a wild guess, maybe a pumpkin candle holder. She says to guess, this is what the clues are. i got to try and make a guess of what's inside. She's doing a good job at wrapping this. Oh, yes. I think I'm right, you know. She's put it in bubble wrap as well. Okay, so I was correct. Um, it is 
a pumpkin candle holder and I love my candles. In fact, I've actually got a couple sitting up here, so this will be perfect to put inside. This is just a little like vanilla scented candle. You light it up and then you'll have a nice lit up face. That is awesome. I love it. Brilliant. Right, the next thing I can pick up number three. Now that feels like a piece of clothing. Baby, it's cold outside. Okay, I'm gonna guess. A Halloween-y looking scarf. I took a wild guess. I actually don't know what anything is. I'm just guessing because these are the clues. So I'm assuming she wanted me to guess. It is not a scarf. I was wrong. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. It's like a jumper top. Now that's cool. Oh, I love it too. It'll be a little bit baggy. I love a bit of a bag. I like comfort, so I like tops that are a bit baggy on me. It's be great to lounge around in. And oh, I love it. It kind of looks like me little pumpkin. Me little pumpkin candle holder. <laughs> that that's nice. I've got number seven here. It says something for them creepy movies, according to this. Look, yeah, you can have a look at the little clue list. You see? So she's probably wanting me to guess. So I'm gonna take a guess, some chocolate or some sweets. Cause it's kind of like trick or treat. Do you know what I mean? You do trick or treat and you get sweets or chocolate and it says something for the creepy movies. So I reckon it's edible. And it is. It's Haribo Star Mix. I know I was pulling a face then, but that's just because like it's not like a Halloween edition. They're doing Halloween editions now, Haribos. But I do love me some Haribos. My favourite one, Haribos, are the the little teddy bears, the green ones, and the red rings, like this one here. Where are we? Is that the red ring there? I like that. Awesome! Next one I can feel is really light. Some kisses coming your way from me. That's number two. It says number two on it. That is really light. I like how creative you are, Emily, to put all this together. I put hers. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to go and check her channel out and see how I've wrapped hers up. I'm trying to be careful. I feel like it's delicate. Oh dear, I'm gonna make a right mess. I did not think this through. I should have got a bag to put my stuff in. Emily, you've done a brilliant job at wrapping. Oh, I didn't take a guess. Some kisses coming your way from me. I honestly can't think of anything for that. Stamford Vampire Kisses. Incense cones. Oh, Stamford's a good brand. I like I like their incense sticks. I'm always buying them for my boyfriend as well because he loves the incense sticks. And it really does smell like what it says it's going to smell like. It doesn't smell like a burning smell like some incense sticks do. I want to know what this is. I don't, it just says Vampire's Kiss on it. How was I meant to guess that? That was a tough one. Ooh. Kind of smells like a soap. Okay, so the only problem I have with this, it doesn't actually say what the scent is. Normally, it would tell you what the scent is. It just says it's Vampire's Kiss. It doesn't say what the actual scent is. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's Jasmine. I best not light these up when the boyfriend's around. He hates the smell of jasmine, but I like it. So this is what the little cones look like. Unfortunately, that one looks like it's broken off on the tip, but it's not a problem. It'll still be usable. What's that? There's a little metal thing in here. What is that for? Oh, that's to put the cones on. That's cute. It's like a miniature plate to put the cones on. That's cute. Number four. What on earth is that? Poster or something. 
Something out of card. Number four says time to get arty. Ooh. Maybe it's um. So it doesn't feel like. Maybe it's one of those scratchy things. Have you ever? It's kind of like paint by numbers, but it's not painting. You scratch instead. I've never done one of those. Or it could just be a picture. Oh, it's an art picture. That's nice. Look at that. It's a pumpkin king and Sally. How cute are they? Oh, look at the colors on that. That's well nice. That's so beautiful. I think there's only one more. This says it's got number one on it. So that is, the clue says, I know what you're like with beauty products. So here's one for you to try. Maybe it's something I can try out in another video. Let's have a look. I'm trying to be careful because I don't actually know what's fragile and what isn't. Oh my god. Open. <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen that before. It's an exclusive pumpkin pie sauna mask. Okay, what will this do? Okay, it's supposed to. It says, the gentle warming action will open pores to remove excess oils, leaving skin feeling cleansed and revitalised. But I'm going to... I'm gonna guess mud mask, excuse me, I've got hiccups. I'm gonna guess mud mask because it kind of looks like a mud on her face. That's cool. Anyway, so thank you all for watching. That was an awesome video. Thank you all for thank you for all my gifts, Emily. Much appreciated. And I hope you liked everything I got for you too. So again, if you wanna see what I got for Pixie Cake, Emily, um, then go check out her channel. I will leave it in the description below. It is Pixie Cake. I don't think it has any uppercase or any numbers or anything, but I'll leave a link anyway. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Facebook or my second channel, which will both be in the description below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.